Morning, everyone. It is March 2nd, Saturday morning. Uh, we are officially in Milan. This will be our last day of adventuring before heading up to Bormio for the transplant games. It's hard to believe how fast this has all gone so far. Um, yesterday we took the train. Uh, we ran into Michelle and her sister at the train station and we all rode the train together. Um, they were one car over from us so we went and sat with them for a moment and then we played Uno with my dad and found out who was, as he puts it, champion of the world over Uno again. But um, I've mentioned this before, I could ride that train all day. It is just so beautiful watching like the world go by and like the different fields and the, the as you're going through the small towns. I just, I just love riding the train. It was a great time. But as we arrived in Milan, got a quick workout in and we got some lunch. We found this little restaurant that had some uh, Americana or it was, it was had a meal called Americana which had hot dogs and french fries on it and it was so American I just had to get it but uh, <laughs> joking aside um, their food was fantastic and while I did get kind of a goofy meal we did also get some bruschetta and uh, Stephanie got like a risotto that was fantastic but after we did that we headed off to go see The Last Supper um, the last, I, I, so we were wait, before we get into that, we, as we were waiting to go like tour the church and then see the Last Supper, um, someone taps me on the shoulder and I turn around. It was Jim from the World Transplant Game. So he is our team manager while we're here, and he is a 42-year kidney recipient. And it just was wild hearing about like past transplant games and stuff from him and his story as he's 42 years removed from his transplant that he got from his brother. I'm like 17 years removed from mine. And it's uh, just kind of humbling and inspiring to see like, yeah, right? You know, this all works out well. Um, on our way in to see the Last Supper, we got to tour the church, which was beautiful. And then also we, uh, uh, when we were in the Last Supper room, we kind of go through these doors so that they can help keep it preserved and keep the air temperature correct. And it was, it was awe-inspiring. Um, there's no other way of putting it. It was very cool to see. If you get the opportunity, you should definitely do it. But um, after that, we went home, got a nice another dinner. Dinners here have been fantastic. Um, not, what else can you say? You're in Italy. But uh, we got back, and as we got back, we got our first look at the bracket for the transplant games. It's exciting to see that uh, everything is starting to become real. Talking to Jim about past games and so forth um, really kind of got us excited. So at this point, um, yeah, I think we're really, I mean, yeah, we got one more day here in Milan, but I think we're really starting to get excited about competing. We were talk we sat and talked for a while last night about curling and like, our families and like what it all means to us and like how fun it is to compete in the game and the spirit of curling and uh, what we want to do for practice and it was uh, it was a nice little evening and um, as uh, as we get ready to go head out today I just want to leave you guys with uh, this has been an amazing trip it's hard to believe that it's the last week um, make sure that you do everything that you can um, it's just a reminder that we are only healthy as much as we are um like and like meeting jim 42 years removed from his transplant and doing this like it's important to do the things that are on your bucket list and have fun uh anyways we will see you all soon uh miss you all and you guys all have a great week